What is going on everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back or to the channel. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe. It's, it's, it, I'd appreciate that. I am extremely excited because I've got one of my, it's my opinion, it's the rarest 2006 Lego Batman set. It's got some crazy minifigures and I got it for steel and I am so, so excited to show you guys. Um, this whole video, we're gonna have some really expensive custom minifigures, so make sure you give me a thumbs up to this. I just got home from work. As you can see, I'm a mess. We're gonna try and fix that and let's get into some rare classic Lego Batman. Alrighty, so I just opened this up. I, we're gonna go through this together. So I am going to enjoy the heck out of this. I'm gonna put, try and remember to put this guy's Macari, I got this off Macari, in the bio, or the, the first comment, it'll be one of those two. But so let's get into this. So right off the bat, we are met with this awesome goodie. Now this is not an original 2006 set, and we're gonna open this up and take a look. Explain everything, you'll understand why I got this. But it is super cool. It's another awesome Batmobile. It's this a Flash minifigure. The same first Flash minifigure I had as a kid. And it is my first Flash minifigure since getting back into Lego. So I am super excited about that. And then right off the bat, you're met with these amazing goodies. Look at that. Look at that. How freaking cool. So I've decided I'm just going to throw everything out. And you already probably know what it is by now. I'm sure. I'm sure you do. But let's just keep pulling parts out. We're just going to pull... Oh, man, look at that. That is so cool. That is... Oh, I can't wait to pull this out. I'm so excited. I'm... The little kid me is totally freaking out right now. I mean, I'm freaking out right now. Look at that. Look at that. I cannot wait to compare this to, like, the 2015, I believe, is the one that I have. I can't wait to find some mini piggies in here. There it is. The Arkham Asylum. The original 2006 Arkham Asylum. Let's pull out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here's some fire right here. Oh, boy. Oh, man. I just saw what... Oh, I am so excited. I am so excited. I am beyond... I don't, even, I don't even know what to say right now. There's so many pretty faces in there I'm seeing. I can't... We're going to open those all up. We got to keep pulling out. We got to keep pulling out. I don't know. There's a big bag here. This is probably the main... Arkham, the main section, you know? We got one last thing. What is that in here? The, another little, probably, prison cell. Yeah, that is what that looks like. Very, very cool. Alrighty, so I started taking things out, and I started off with this ambulance. And honestly, for 2006, it's pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Comparing it to, like, the newer one, next to the, I believe this is, like, 2012 to 15, somewhere in there, um... But I mean, honestly, it looks really good. Obviously, it's kind of just, it's more blocky. The pieces were different, a lot different back then. We didn't have the same stuff that we're getting now. But the ambulances are really nice. I think they look very good. They go very well with each other. And they both do actually have the little thing for the Riddler to go on, like the little insane bed. Let's see. Does this one got it in there? It does. So just like that. Very cool. You can see definitely different design. This one looks a lot better once the pieces are in there, uh, all connected and everything. But this one looks pretty good too, honestly. I mean, definitely, it's pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab a bag, pour it out, and figure out what piece it's supposed to be, and then kind of build it from there. So once I pulled the instructions up online, I was really able to just kind of look at pictures and I was able to piece everything together. It was super cool going back and building something from 2006, looking at the instructions and everything like that, and just how things were built much differently and the parts were a lot more limited back then. Alrighty, and just like that, we have everything pieced back together. I am blown away with how much better it is in person. I'm not kidding. I mean, I knew this set was going to be amazing, but I was kind of like, the main reason I wanted it was for the amazing lineup of minifigures, which we're going to take a look at in just a line, in just a second, I mean. But the set is actually now having it together is way better than I was originally thinking. It is massive. I mean, the height is really, it's pretty big. It is a very tall set and it's just, it, there's really cool features for being as old as it is. There's some amazing stuff in here. I mean, I'm blown away. All of the cool little details. We got all the hay in there. We got the cool stuff down there for Poison Ivy. The stickers are amazing. The, oops, so not the, the guard tower is cool with the weaponry on the side. We got a really cool looking light. 
I mean, I really, really like that build. Um, then we got, uh, what is this over here? This one's for the Riddler with more, even more firepower. And I love these lock pieces that they had. Um, the gate is not as crazy cool looking as the one we're gonna take a look at. The amount of greebling they did on the new stuff is insane compared to this, but this still looks really good. And then we have the main Arkham Asylum here, which has a feature which is really, really cool. This handle right here, it looks weird, but you push in and all of these doors open at once. That is so cool. And I love the stickers on here so you can put everybody in there. And then up here we got this, which is amazing. This pulls out, take that out if you want. We got some spots for them to do some work, some lighting in here. I think it's really cool, which we have that custom Harleen Quinzel now to go in here, which is awesome. That's amazing. And overall, this is just really cool. It's got lots of features. I mean, the, the ambulance is really, really nice too. But let's compare this. Well, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side to the 2015 one, which has insane, insane differences. We're gonna do that after we look at these amazing minifigures though. So, I mean, honestly, these even these security guards are really cool. I really dig them. But that black suit Batman with that gold looks amazing. It looks way better in person than it does on camera. And we got that amazing Nightwing minifigure, which is exclusive, and he is freaking sick. And the Riddler is, that's one of my favorite minifigures, as far as the villains go, that body design. But the, I mean, look at the Scarecrow. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. And all of these figures are so minty. This guy was an adult collector. They've been smoke-free environment. They are amazing condition. I am so ecstatic. And I can't, I, I love to be able to show this to you guys. I'm happy that I'm pretty much able to show you a complete collection after this, minus a couple little henchmen, which we are working on getting. So here is comparing the Arkham Asylum gates to the new Arkham Asylum gates. And as you can see, the amount of detail is much different we've got these spears on the side those i mean but we didn't have a lot of like these ninjago spears but the lighting looks amazing we got these these stone minifigures there holding the weaponry really really nice gates i mean really nice they look really nice they open really nice compared to these hinged ones which still open pretty nicely just oops see what i'm saying? a little a little more firm you just kind of a double hander you kind of got to double hand it but still really nice. We're not even gonna close it. We're just gonna leave it open for right now. But the detail on this is still pretty cool. I mean, using these little brackets for the spikes, it still has that intimidating look. But this one, obviously, they just have new pieces. They're able to do it in such a different way now. I will say where the old one kind of takes the cake for me is it's got multiple different buildings. It's got one, two, three, four, five with the gate, you know? This one, you get the main gate and the actual Arkham Asylum, which looks absolutely crazy, does it not? I mean, the, the detail on this is insane. Luckily, when I bought this one, they had half of another one, so I bought that, and I can kind of pair it up like this one on the side here, which we'll do in just a second, but I just wanna show you the set as, it's, uh, as, as it is. But the greebling on this one is absolutely insane. All of the spikes, all of the, the, the claw pieces right there. I mean, it's insane. The broken windows, the ropes, all of that just looks really good. And then flipping around, this thing is absolutely packed with detail. I mean, I'm, it's, it's, you can have a whole day just playing around in here as, as it is. Uh, it's got the spot for poison ivy up here. It's got a really nice spot for Mr. Freeze, which looks amazing. Uh, we've got over here, a little med bay, whatever they're doing, a spot for one of the guards. Over here, we've got Harley Quinn's little spot. And then on the back, we've got some cool uh, posters of all of the prisoners. And then we've got the doors that open nicely, another spot for security guard. And then so this one, you can't open everything at once. Or I mean, you can open both of them by sliding. Oops, let's see if I'm doing this right. Okay, so you can open the door. Okay, I'm breaking stuff. You can open the door like that, like regular. But you can also, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there we go, slide them open, which is pretty cool. I do like that feature. It does look good. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I combine the two on the shelf and just make a giant Arkham Asylum? I think that's what I'm going to do. Just a little bit of the classic, a little bit of the new. Just as like a, this is a new building compared to where they've been treating patients or something. I think that might look really cool. Giant Arkham Asylum, mark, question mark? Biggest one on YouTube? I'm just kidding. Maybe one day, why not? You know, we got the giant Batcave over here. Definitely not the biggest on YouTube, 
but one day we are going to have maybe the coolest bat cave on youtube i don't know there's a lot of amazing bat caves out there but i definitely am going to put a lot of work and a lot of time once everything really starts getting rolling i mean it's been a seven month project so far um obviously i'm gonna take my time on it and while we're talking about it, let's look at some of the more classic minifigures. We've got the OG Batman and Robin over here, the gray suit, along with his 2006 Bat Boat, as well as the 2008 Bat Tank and the 2006 Bat Ski with Killer Crocs down there. Uh, that's pretty much all the 2006 stuff in the Bat Cave. But as you can see, there has been a lot of progress made, a bunch. I need to, I still have not ordered, I need to order like 10,000 of these damn near and to cover up all of these studs because eventually i don't want to have any studs it'll be all slopes just like this and it'll look freaking sweet and then we have to go through and add more detail i need to get my girlfriend in here to help me with the detail she always has cool little things she got me that pepsi machine she's always got the funny ideas to add little cool things in there they're just little things that grab your eye that make you want to look at it for just a minute longer you know what i mean and same with down in here this needs some work but i love Always seeing him down there, busy checking out suits, working, and he's got a head gasket right there, doing something to the tumbler. We've got both Batmobiles in there right now. The one from the new, the Batman or whatever, the new one, um, as well as some Batmobiles down here, which I need to dust this, because holy cow, that is super dusty. I also forgot, I still have this. I'm so excited. I've got more. I This is like Christmas for me. This is 100% my Christmas. I've got the Batmo Speeder with the Riddler Dragster pretty much. I mean, let's let's crack this thing open too and take a look at that. So here, here's a look at these minifigures that came with this set. So the reason I grabbed this was because I offered him, he had this and he had the, the Arkham Asylum. So I bundled this, bundled them up and basically I got this for free at the end of the day. So I wasn't gonna turn that down. And the flash is cool, let's fix his helmet. Definitely that was kind of when Lego was working on printing skin tone onto a minifigure. Oh, has he got a messed up face? He does, a little bit, is he double-sided? Oh, both sides are messed up a little bit. Interesting. Interesting. But other than that, he's okay. I don't mind it. It's the Flash. Uh, the Batman minifigure, super dope. I really love that. It kind of looks like a, uh, kind of like a classic. And then I also got that Riddler with that hat piece, which is really nice. Okay, I know this video is jumping kind of all over the place right now, but I want to show you some pretty cool lego art i know lego art what, what do you think it's actually lego art so this is custom lego art lego molded lego custom printed as you can see the packaging is super super nice it's got a custom sleeve and then it's in a uh, an actual plastic case but it's not just like the normal where it kind of cracks open it pops open like that and I haven't even taken it out of the package yet. So we're going to do that, but isn't that beautiful? I'm working on getting that that Poison Ivy minifigure, um, but it is super, super cool. I love this. It's gonna go in the Batcave. I was thinking about leaving it in the packaging, but I don't think I'm gonna sell this. I think I'm gonna keep this because it is really cool. Um, so let's take it out of this plastic. Here it is with her all unwrapped and it is absolutely beautiful. So it does attach using that plate on the back so we will be able to add it into the bat cave but it is so so beautiful the printing is absolutely top tier and so the next rare custom this is a hundred dollar minifigure uh it is bane from batman the dark knight obviously and it is super amazing by phoenix customs so yeah he is a hundred bucks but the printing on him is amazing. You can't get him anymore. I was able to get him through a friend on Instagram. But I love this minifigure. And it also has a metal card, kind of like a collector's card. It is metal. Um, and it says pain up there. And it's got some info on the back. If you guys want to see, if you want to check out any of these minifigures that they make, there is their links make sure you follow them um, but they make some absolutely beautiful minifigures this is pad printed just like lego can't feel any of the printing that's on there it is beautiful i love this guy and up next we have the official heath ledger joker but next to it we have the classic minifigures this is another pad printed minifigure 
This is the classic version of him. Uh, I love this. I want to get the Batman that they've got and the Catwoman. But when you see them next to each other, they just look absolutely great together. The hair is a little bit lighter. I think that is because the lightly, slightly darker green is a little bit more expensive due to, I think it was only used on the Heath Ledger Joker. I'm not sure. But that Heath Ledger Joker is just beautiful. You gotta love that. I don't have his cape on him, but this is also a Dark Knight minifigure from the Tumblr. He is exclusive. I've got some different arms and legs on him, but the head and everything is exclusive. But he is a beautiful minifigure as well. If you guys want to see a video on all of my custom Star Wars minifigures, let me know in the comments and we could do a custom minifigure video if you want. So I hope you're enjoying the Lego Batman content so far. I think it's time to try and get most of this stuff back up on the shelf, if possible. Many figures back here, which we'll take a look at. This is a just official Lego, all Lego Scarecrow. This is a Firestar Customs body. It is a John Wick body, but that's kind of like a custom Raz al Ghul from Batman. And then this is a Big Kid Bricks. This is the Joker when he is the nurse Joker in the Dent Hospital uh, when he blows it up, which I just thought this was a really cool minifigure. He was about 30 bucks. And if you know Lego Batman, you know that this is an expensive lineup right here. Just these three guys are worth a little bit of money. And just like that, I have added all of the Arkham Asylum to the shelf. And it looks freaking sweet. It's huge. The whole backdrop is Arkham Asylum. So I've got the newer one kind of pieced in with the old one there got another new one and then the rest of the older pieces over here let me know what you guys think i'm not sure how i feel about it but i think it's pretty cool i think for now i'm gonna rock it and i'm gonna put the figs up here once we fix up the displays you can see i've got a mess i need to clean and then we'll take a final look and we'll go from there but i think it looks pretty cool still be able to do the photography up top and uh got this down there i need to add some lighting that is for sure and maybe we'll convert one of these to Batman, I'm not sure. And I also got some plans I want to bounce off you guys in a minute with the Batcave possibly moving it here this way, just so it's closer to the desk, I'm not sure. And it just so happens that I was working on the minifig stand from all my classic Lego Batman minifigures. We are going to need to expand it, that is for sure, and change out some things. I have got all the minifigures on the board. I left room for the Bane, and I've got, obviously, there's going to be more customs on the way. So I'm going to have to work on this again, but for right now, we've got all of them fit on there, and man, does it look good. And since I had the extra one of these, I pulled the Arkham Asylum little tiles off and stuck them on the stand, just so it kind of fits in there. And I think it looks so good. I am very, very, very happy with it. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments, if you would change anything. I'm kind of thinking I want to change a few things, but I want to hear what you guys think, and then we'll go from there. But as far as the actual setup, I am so happy with how these minifigures look. Everything put into where it needs to be, all the figures on the stand. I think we're going to wrap this video up. The next video is going to be some big changes. I'm going to be completely rearranging the way that this room is set up. I want to make it a little bit more friendly, usable, just more uh, easy for the entertainment side of what I want to do with this channel and everything like that. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Uh, click the notifications because you're going to want to miss the next video. There's going to be some awesome changes. I'm very excited. I hope you guys have had a great time here. If you have, make sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.